I enjoy reading. I enjoy the process of learning and the process of getting lost in imaginary stories. And sometimes whenever I'm feeling especially philosophical, I imagine that I am in a book. I'm the visualization of someone who is reading my book. Does that make sense? I am what they picture my story would be in their head. But I have been fortunate because I've always found myself enjoying reading. Whenever I was younger, we got reading points for reading so many books in elementary and middle school. And I was always one of the top earners whenever it came to AR points, as they were called. But lately, I have come to enjoy the process of learning. And I know for many people, reading is a tedious and boring process that they stay as far away as they possibly can. And I cannot blame them, especially because I am a rare case of a person that made it through the education system without hating reading. And I believe that is one of the main two reasons why people hate or just simply struggle to actually sit down and read a book. Whenever we were four or five, we probably enjoyed the process of reading because it was something new to us that we did with our parents. And we used that time to connect with them and we enjoyed it because there was no ulterior motive aside from the process of reading. Many people have come to have negative perceptions of reading because they have negative perceptions of schooling. And what do people most commonly associate reading with? Going to school. So if you associate reading with going to school, which is something that you hate, then you will probably hate reading as well. And you slowly hated reading more and more because you didn't do it for the sake of reading, you did it because you had to do it. And whenever you put some sort of external reward on what you're doing, then it actually decreases the motivation to do it if it were something that you would do otherwise. And the second reason that we hate or don't really like reading is because of the distraction culture that has proliferated society or spread across all society in recent times. Technology has been a blessing, but it has also been a curse because it has led to us always seeking some form of distraction, whether it be social media, or even if you try to read an article online that is something that's informational, there's going to be an advertisement that pops up trying to get your attention, which has made it much harder for us to actually maintain attention on anything, which is something that you actually need to do whenever you are reading. So because reading is so less stimulating than everything else that is going on in our world, then it becomes much less interesting because there's a less going on. I mean, it's probably a lot easier for you to watch this video than for you to read a script of whatever I'm saying. And that's because even in this video, there is a lot more going on than if you were to simply read through a piece of paper. There's hand movements, there's a face that you can see and register that is gaining your attention in some sort of way. There is an endless amount of options whenever you are consuming this kind of content, but whenever you're reading, you have to actually read to gain the information. So those are the two main reasons that I think that most people don't like reading or don't wanna spend the time reading, but how exactly do you start reading more? Well, the first step in that is to not set huge goals for yourself because if you go from zero pages 
to 60 pages, then you'll probably give up at around page 12. You might wanna start a little bit smaller, kind of like whenever you go to the gym, you don't start out by lifting two plates, you start off by maybe lifting the bar. I mean, hell, I started with the with the broomstick. But with reading, you basically do the same thing. Just set a small goal for the first day. And something that I like to do that makes any habit that you have to do an extended amount of things in, like exercising or reading, is start off with one, and then do two the next day, and then three the next day, and four the next day, and so on, and then just keep adding one and one and one, because that first day, one page is probably gonna seem like nothing to you because I mean, it's just one page, it might take you a minute, maybe five minutes. By the 20th day, you'll be reading 20 pages, whereas if you started off with that, then it would seem a lot more daunting. And obviously at a certain point, you'll probably wanna stop adding up the pages, but the idea is that you start off with a small amount so that you can ingrain the habit and you'll experience a lot less resistance whenever you are trying to adapt it. The next thing that you wanna do, which is actually the first thing I just actually messed up whenever I was recording, but the next thing that you want to do is try to reframe how you perceive reading. So over the course of your educational career, you've developed a negative perception of reading. So you want to start reading simply for the sake of reading. And the best way to start off with that is by reading things that you enjoy. And this is probably gonna be fiction for the most part because by reading for entertainment, then it helps give you a more positive perception of reading. Whereas if you just start off by reading self-development, nonfiction type books, then it would be super hard because they can be pretty dry and boring at times. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are some that are entertaining, but for the most part, it is pretty difficult to delve straight into nonfiction. I mean, after reading self-development for a while and then going to simply a biography of Abraham Lincoln, I was so much more entertained by that biography, even though it was nonfiction, but because there was a story to it compared to the non-story like that is self-improvement books. And after that, it is always a good idea to start your reading off in the morning and to develop a habit of reading in the morning. And the reason that this is a good idea is because if you go throughout your day and then you read, you were extremely stimulated throughout that day, so it'll be hard to be going from extremely stimulated to not much stimulation from a book. And additionally, whenever you are reading in the morning, it's a good idea to make sure that you stay off of the internet before you read because that contrast will still make the reading much less enjoyable no matter if you get on Twitter or Snapchat. They're gonna be super engaging whereas reading obviously is just gonna be one dimensional. You are just reading through the pages. Next, and this kind of goes along with the second thing that I talked about, you want to try to add things that you enjoy to your reading experience or after your reading experience. So if you enjoy drinking coffee, then you can drink coffee while you read your book. Or you can go to a Starbucks if you just like the atmosphere that's there. Or you can go out and tan while you're reading if that's something that you enjoy doing. The idea is to create a positive association between reading and that which you like to do and hopefully how you feel about that other thing will then rub off to reading so that you will enjoy it more. And the other way that you can do it is positively reinforce it by giving yourself a reward after you read. So this could be going and eating your favorite food or snack or going and watching your favorite television show. Another way that you can kind of read more is audiobooks and I don't really like this one that much. I mean I do have an audible account and I listen to audiobooks here and there but for those I mainly listen to stuff that I don't really need to remember because most of the time whenever I'm listening to audiobooks I am also multitasking and if you are multitasking and listening to an audiobook then it makes it a lot harder for you to remember the information. So if you just want to get started with reading, then it is a good thing 
thing to do and help you get more into it. So if you're interested, then I'll have it linked down in the description below. And the last tip that I have for you to help you read more books is that if you don't like a book, then stop reading it because you want to create a positive perception with reading. So if you read a book that you don't like, then naturally it will create a more negative perception of reading, right? Even if it's a book that you think that you should like or you think that you're going to get some value from it, it doesn't really matter if you are not enjoying the process of reading because at the end of the day, if you want to start reading more books, then you have to start enjoying reading books. So that is all the tips that I have to help you read more books. But if you are trying to learn something from the books that you are reading, then simply reading more books won't actually help you learn more because some trap that I've fallen into is just trying to read as much as possible because I then think that I'm going to be learning more. But that is not the case. You have to be intentional with what you are reading if you actually want to learn from those books. So in an upcoming video, I'm going to be talking about how to learn more from what you read. So I will see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then pound that like button, subscribe if you have not, and have a great day.